How's it going everyone? This is Shadow Trainer 1030 and today's video we got some exciting news on Pokemon Go Hub here. So apparently John Hankey himself has confirmed that not only are we getting PvP, Pokestop submissions, level cap increase, but also Gen 4. That's what I'm mostly excited for here. I know you guys are excited for that as well. So don't go anywhere because I have a lot to say and it's Argo here. Plus there's other stuff I gotta cover here. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so I'm not going to read the entire Argo here. I'll leave the description below for you to read yourself. But I'll read the important ones though. So the Argo starts off with uh, John Hankey had a, a long conversation with Dr. Poco, which I'm guessing that's uh, a YouTuber. That's my guess as well. And then they're on a flight, so I think it's, it'll be a nice conversation to have with, uh, with that kind of person. Now they're just going into details of what the... Um, what to expect here. Uh, they haven't confirmed of when Generation 4, PvP, all that stuff yet, but hopefully it'll be pretty soon. And they're saying that the um, GoFest 2.0 is coming to Germany, which I'm not really excited for that one. I don't think it's a good idea. I'll get into that a little bit later. Now, and they're also saying that John, that Niantic it, and also John Higg himself are trying to get rid of spoofers, which um, I'll get into that as well. Which, well, first let's talk about the, uh, the GoFest here. I don't really think it's a good idea to do it in Germany because what about the people at the U.S.? It's like you can't take all the population of that to here. And it's like, same thing with Trainer Chips' video that Pokemon Go is not fair. Now, uh, I, I'm, I will not be able to go to this one because me and my family can't afford that much money to go over there. And plus, Germany is really a not, 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 not a safe place to go at because... A lot of bad stuff been going on over there. Yeah. Now, um, going over uh, Gen 4 and PvP, my guess is they, they will be released this year, but for Gen 4, if I had to guess when they're going to release it, they'll probably release it most likely uh, maybe either before GoFest or during GoFest. Now, I think it will be a perfect opportunity to introduce it before GoFest. That way, players can be able to get these enough Pokemon to be able to evolve certain Pokemon to build and be ready for as well. Now, what I'm thinking that I think is most likely going to do is um, during the um, last year's golf, as you'll remember, that uh, they had like this like uh, task is here. So if you complete this many, you'll be able to unlock this thing, and if you complete this one, then you'll be able to unlock it for the rest of the world. Now, I'm thinking that they will most likely do is if players in Germany uh, during the uh, golf fest are able to complete this certain task and stuff like that they'll be able to unlock Generation 4. And if they do a lot more stuff, then they'll release uh, PvP. So yeah, I think that's what's most likely they're going to do here, because knowing Niantic, they don't do a good job with that kind of stuff. That's just my personal opinion here. So yeah, um, the Gen 4, I'm mostly excited for. There's a lot of good Pokemon here. I mostly am a fan of uh, Palkia and, yeah, and Garatina, which if you see right next to me, I'm also a fan of uh, Darkrai when I was growing up. Because... And just to tell you guys a little bit about myself, uh, I had so much fun with Darkrai. It was like a, a, an unfair Pokemon. Because what I've been doing to my friends is, for starters, I used Darkrai's uh, attack to build all the Pokemon to sleep, which is Dark Void to be precise. Then I used the move Nightmare, and if the Pokemon still be asleep, it'll be able to do a lot more damage. And, and while they're sleeping, I either attack the Pokemon to do damage, or I just use Dream Eater to be able to affect more damage. Basically, the longer the Pokemon is asleep, the more harder it is for you're going to go against you with the dark right here yeah all that good stuff here i'm i'm, I'm curious of what they're going to do with dark right here because dark right is so powerful it's way too powerful here i don't know what Niantic is going to do here they're probably going to make it like really weak which i hope they don't do that because the um dark rise main attack is dark void which i don't know how that's going to work for us in pokemon go but they'll think of something here now um get, getting into um get rid of his spoofers here. Now, I don't really think Niantic is going to get rid of spoofers because they make up, believe it or not, the big majority of Pokemon Go. And what my, me and my friend had a conversation with yesterday that um, on Sunday, to be precise, we were talking about this here and he was saying that they make up 2 billion people population of Pokemon Go. So if they get rid of this, then basically Niantic is going to, the game themselves are going to go downhill a lot. That is exactly with uh, Draconius Go. Is why you're not hearing that game a lot. It's because they got rid of spoofers and what's the point of playing it? 
Another good example is my, uh, my one of my friends who used to play Pokemon Go. He quit the game uh, like uh, many months ago because for a couple of reasons. For starters, the game is boring, and two, there's really not much to do in Pokemon Go. And it's like, what's the point of Pokemon Go if all you do is just walk around and don't really see good Pokemon around? It's like nothing new here. Exactly. That tells you how bad Niantic is doing with their game here. That's just his personal opinion. And for me, I definitely would agree with him that Niantic really do need to fix their game a lot. Now, getting to uh, Antonio uh, Valdeva, I'm probably going to make you upset with, or with that, but forgive me if I'm saying their name wrong. But anyways, he was saying to me personally, and also the uh, Mystic 7 um, uh, video, he's saying that Nancy should definitely get rid of spoofers, because so that way the game can be balanced, make it more fair, friendly, and stuff like that. But let me ask you personally, I, I, I already said this already to a lot of you guys, I'll say it again. When's the last time you've seen a Pokemon Go player? For me, I last time I seen it was a couple of days ago at uh, I was Adventures in Florida, to be precise. I only saw two couples playing Pokemon Go, and they were shiny hunting for a Wilmore, and they're having a hard time. Yeah, that tells you how many how there's not a lot of Pokemon Go players around. I mean, don't get me wrong, Florida is a really good place to play play Pokemon Go, but if you're just um. But you're not going to see a lot of players there because there's not, not really that big population there. Kind of compared to, like, maybe like a city where there would be a lot of players, like a New York City precise. So, yeah, um, that's all I got to say uh, in this video. I know it's very short, guys, but the main purpose of this video is to let you guys know that PvP, Generation 4, Level Cap, all that good stuff is coming to Pokemon Go. But guys, let me know in the comments below your thoughts on this article here and what are you mostly excited for? For me, I'm mostly excited for Gen 4. But as for PvP, I feel it's a little too late. We should have had it a long time ago, but again, I think not doing a good job with the, these kind of updates here. That's just my personal opinion, by the way. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Check out my channel, subscribe, or bell for more gameplay videos. And I will see you all in the next video.